Welcome to the Craft Beer Review. If you like talking beer, be sure to subscribe and leave me a comment to let me know what you think. I think this is going to be my last pumpkin beer of the year. Uh, this is Dogfish Head's Pumpkin Ale. Uh, I've had this before several years ago. Um, I remember enjoying it, so I figured it would be a good one to end the year with. I did pull out my Dogfish Head pint glass for this, um, which uh, the design of which has seen better days. <laughs> I got this one at the back of the glass, you know, this uh, location of their brew pubs. Uh, two in Virginia, one in Maryland, and I got this one in at their Maryland location. Although their main brewery, I think, is still in Delaware, but they do have brew pubs um, at different areas. Um, all right, let's take a look. Nice, what is that? You know, nice amber copper color. Nice two finger off white head on top. A decent amount of carbonation heading to the top to maintain that head. Looks pretty good. I like that. Let's see what the bottle says brown ale brewed with pumpkin and spices. 7% alcohol by volume. Off-centered art series featuring Max Mon. Not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly. I do like the label though on that. You know, that fits with their motto, off-centered ales for off-centered people. There's certainly an interesting uh, art on that label. All right. Now, there's not a whole lot of information regarding the ingredients on the bottle, although I know Dogfish Head usually has a long write-up on their beers on their website. They, like, they'll like they list ingredients, aromas, flavors, food pairings. Um, uh, I've had some of their beers in the past, and I've gone on their website and found an entire page dedicated to each of their, their beers listing everything on them. So... Uh, I'm gonna try this beer first and see what I think and then uh, go on their web page and uh, see what they say. All right, cheers. Mm. <laughs> I'll take another sip. Nice. All right, in the aroma. Low intensity. Cinnamon, a little bit of nutmeg. You know, your typical autumn beer spices. Mm -mm -mm. Pretty good. In the flavor though. Flavor was interesting. Uh, I'd say it's definitely a full-bodied beer. Um, had a like sweet component. I think they use brown sugar in this beer. I mean, definitely getting the typical spices, but I think I'm getting a little bit of a brown sugar character to it. Um, I know some pumpkin beers use brown sugar. Uh, it's not that uncommon. Um, this is good. Let's check out their website. Let's see what they have up there for. Let's see. Their pumpkin ale. Here we go. Every beer has a story. Here's pumpkin ale, a full body brown ale with smooth hints of pumpkin and brown sugar. We brew our pumpkin ale with pumpkin meat, brown sugar, and spices. As the season cools, this is the perfect beer to warm up with. Pumpkin Ale is named after the seriously off-centered Southern Delaware extravaganza punk, Pumpkin Chunkin. Check out some of these Discovery Channel videos of Pumpkin Chunkin. You gotta see it to believe it. it in fact, Pumpkin Ale made its debut 
as it claimed first prize in the 1994 Pumpkin Chunkin' Recipe Contest. Yes, that was a full six months before we ever opened our doors for business. Ah, so I guess, uh, let's see, 1994. Original, oh, and here they're saying original release. There we go. ABV 7%, IBU 28, release August through November. Original release 1995, style pumpkin. Color medium amber to copper, yep. Aroma, cinnamon, allspice, and nutmeg. Yeah, I agree with that. Flavor, spicy notes of cinnamon, brown sugar, and pumpkin. Mouthfeel, full body with lingering spices and a cinnamon tangle. I don't disagree with anything they have written up there. Glassware, pint, cheese pairing, sharp cheddar, food pairing, turkey, roasted duck, lamb, stuffing, dessert dumplings. Sounds like it would be a good beer to have on Thanksgiving. That is nice. <laughs> and I like the intensity of the pumpkin and spice, where it's kind of low in intensity and it complements uh, the body of the beer. I, I really enjoy this, and I'm not a big fan of the uh, pumpkin beers where the spices just take center stage and override everything else. Hmm, how would I rate this beer? Ooh, you know, I gotta give this beer a good uh, 4.25 stars. This is really good. I like the brown sugar in it. Um, it kind of differentiates it a little bit from some of the other pumpkin beers. Uh, like I said, some have them, some don't. It's not uncommon, but uh, you know, I, I can only think of a few examples uh, where I taste it. This is a good one. This is a solid uh, pumpkin beer. I might have to get a six pack of this for Thanksgiving. We'll see. <laughs> All right, 4.25 out of five stars. Cheers.